I'm here in Salford, Greater Manchester, the home of Coronation Street. The famous cobbles have been running for over 60 years, making it the longest TV show in the world. I'm here today at Media City to ask the viewers who their favourite character is and what their most iconic storyline is in the show's history. Let's go and find out. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be discussing the Brit Awards 2022. It was a great evening packed full of performances from the likes of Anne-Marie, Liam Gallagher and Adele. It was Mole Gilligan's first time presenting and I thought he did a great job. We've got to talk about Adele's performance. Oh, what a comeback. It was surreal. Seeing her perform I Drink Wine from her latest album 30. It was oh, sublime, sublime, honestly. And we've got to talk about Anne-Marie as well. Falling down those stairs in her performance. I was gobsmacked watching it from home. And I was like, oh my God, is she okay? You know, I went straight onto Twitter to see what people were saying. And you know what? At least we know she wasn't lip syncing. Because you could hear it, you know, when she fell down, you could hear it in her voice. But you know, that's all I've got time for today, guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And watch out for my next video. Because I'll be discussing the new Netflix drama, Heartstopper. Now I've heard a lot about this and everybody's obsessed. So watch out for that. See you soon. Welcome to One Minute News. Here's your roundup. Breaking news. A major incident has been declared in Scotland as flash floods cause a train derailment and landslides. We will have more on this as it breaks. In sport, the Super League has been thrown into chaos after six Hull FC players, five of whom played against Salford on Sunday, tested positive for COVID-19. Both clubs have been told to cancel training, with those who have been tested positive being forced to quarantine. In other news, 80s satirical comedy show Spitting Image is back, and it's been revealed that Boris Johnson, Beyonce and Elon Musk will be all created in latex. In its prime, the original spitting image attracted 15 million viewers and ran for 18 series. Just time for a quick weather roundup. Bands of rain will move east to affect most parts of the UK. It will be brighter in the west and sunny spells and scattered showers. It will feel cooler for most. That's your one minute roundup. Hello and welcome back to QVC Quick Buy. I'm Lewis Kent and I'm here with your on the hour, every hour, Flash by. So today with me I have a Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Before I go any further, I'm going to say the call to buy because you're going to want this product. It's 0800 100 100. 0800 100 100. 100. Now this product is sustainably sourced with ingredients of chamomile, rosemary and eucalyptus. The bottle is a gorgeous baby blue and it's also made from recycled plastics. The fragrance oh, is eucalyptus, which will be so refreshing in the morning to wake you up. Now this product, the hot cloth cleanser and the Liz Earl cloth is only £17.99. Let me say that again, £17.99 for the hot cloth cleanser and the cloth. I've been using this product for two weeks and I've already seen a difference. I've been using the cloth in the morning in hot water, dabbing all over my skin, and then going in with the cleanser, about a pea size is enough in your hands, rub all into the skin, all into the pores, and wash off again with the cloth. Now I said I've been using this for two weeks, and my acne was terrible before, but I've already seen a difference. It's took the redness away and also the pain and left my skin looking visibly a lot more healthier and a lot more brighter. I'm going to say it again. It's only £17.99 and the call to buy is 0800 100 100. Now, this product has worked wonders for my skin. So you're really going to want it. Forget all of your acne prone products. This product is all you need. Right, that's it for today, guys, for QVC Quick Buy. Catch me again, where I'll be talking about the Liz Earl Probiotic Milk Cleanser. Watch out for that. Today I'm joined with student Katie Naylor, who'll be discussing her time as a contestant on Rampier Singh's new game show, Ridiculous. Hi, Katie. What can we expect on this new game show? 
So we don't know much at the moment as it's brand new. It's just been commissioned for ITV, but all I can tell you and all that I know at the moment is it's going to have lots of riddles in it and lots of general knowledge. And there's two other couples competing against me and my partner, Eddie. Um, and there's a cash prize at the end, but we don't know how much or what the riddles will be like or how it's all going to work. It's all brand new. So it's, it's very exciting. It's also very scary. <laughs> you said you applied for this back in February. Um, what made you audition initially and what's the process been like so far? I mean, basically it was for a joke. Me and Eddie didn't think we'd ever get on something like this. It never happens to people like us. But so we applied. Um, we had to send this massive, it was pages and pages of information, you know, what we're like as a couple, what we like, what we don't like about each other, like a little fun fact about us. I said I can name a musical theatre song within one second of listening to it. Uh, different stuff like that. Then we had a screen test with the producers. Um, and then that got sent off to the executive producers and all this jazz and it was all we're like oh this is getting a bit ahead of ourselves here aren't we um and then it took about a month and then we got a call saying that we got on but yeah it was all for a joke and we never we never ever expected to be here today about to go on a game show <laughs> absolutely crazy and you said that obviously you're filming this with your partner Eddie what's mm. that been like so far I mean, it's been a lot of bickering to begin with. We were joking about what we do if we won the cash prize and what we'd buy, or where we'd go on holiday. He wants to buy a car. And I was like, I want to get away somewhere warm. <laughs> um, and it's just been a lot of practicing as well, a lot of practicing riddles, um, a lot of general knowledge. Because we were thinking, gosh, if we do get on this, which we are now, um, we're never going to be able to do this because we're really bad at riddles. So it's just been a lot of practicing. But I think it's fun and cute because I'm older we can look back and see ourselves on ITV, which, you know, as you do. <laughs> One quick question before we finish. When can we expect to see Ridiculous on our screens? Uh, so I don't know the final date as to yet, but I do and I can tell you that we're filming it on the 17th of May. So any time from then, you might see us on your screens. Oh, that's very soon, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Well, I wish you all the best of the luck in the world and I'll be tuning in. I can't wait to see it. Um, thank you.